Dennis Brager. I'm a former IRS trial attorney and a California State Bar Certified Tax Specialist. This is just one in a series of videos designed to give you answers to questions that my clients frequently ask. Today I'd like to talk about a collection due process hearing. A collection due process hearing, also known as a CDP hearing, may be your last best chance to resolve a tax controversy with the IRS short of tax litigation. Generally, the IRS must issue a notice of intent to levy and right to request a hearing before it sends a levy. If you file a request for a CDP hearing within 30 days of the date of its mailing, the IRS may not serve a levy until you've had a chance for that hearing. At the hearing, you may ask for an installment agreement, an offer in compromise, or another collection alternative. You also may be asked to be treated as an innocent spouse, and if you have not already had an opportunity to do so, you can dispute the amount of your tax liability. The notice of intent to levy and right to request a hearing is generally sent by certified or re registered mail return receipt requested to a taxpayer's last known address. As we explain in another one of our videos, if the notice is not sent to your last known address, it may not be valid and therefore the IRS would be prohibited from levying on your bank accounts or other assets. You can find this video about last known address by typing that phrase, last known address, in the search bar on our website. Instead of mailing the notice of intent to levy and right to request a hearing by certified or registered mail, the IRS can also deliver it in person or leave it at your home or your usual place of business. However, it's relatively rare for the IRS not to use certified mail in order to serve the notice of intent to levy. If you refuse delivery of the notice or you fail to pick it up after the post office leaves a slip indicating that there was an attempted delivery, then, generally speaking, the IRS and the courts will treat that notice as if it had actually been received. So a word, or five shall I say, of warning. Pick up your certified mail. When dealing with the IRS, ignorance is not bliss. The CDP notice is required by law to provide certain information in simple and non-technical terms. This is what it looks like. This version of the Notice of Intent to Levy and Right to Request a Hearing is set forth in IRS Form LT1058. This letter is relatively straightforward in that the title quite clearly states that the taxpayer has a right to request a hearing. The IRS also uses another notice to inform taxpayers of their statutory rights to request a collection due process hearing. That's the form LT-11. The IRS Automated Collection Service generally uses the LT-11 and IRS Revenue Officers use form LT-1058. Somewhere around 2015, the IRS changed the format of form LT-11. This is what the new form LT-11 looks like. This new form LT-11 is very devious. It looks a lot like other notices that the IRS sends out which do not grant the right to a hearing. The right to a hearing is not mentioned in the bold-faced heading of the notice, nor for that matter anywhere on the first page. It's only on page two of the notice and it's buried after notifications to pay immediately. It's very easy for taxpayers representing themselves to miss that language, and even tax professionals who are using shortcuts may not notice the information. The tricky way the IRS has chosen to implement critical taxpayer rights granted by Congress underlines the importance of obtaining professional assistance. On the one hand, a highly detail-oriented taxpayer 
might be able to respond to the notice. But the trick is understanding the importance of responding and even realizing that responding in writing within a 30-day time period is imperative if this very important right is to be maintained. With the wide variety of information that is rained down on a taxpayer, both orally and in writing, a trained tax controversy lawyer can deliver a great deal of value in sorting out your rights. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by leaving a comment. And if you would like me to update you when I post a new video or send out a newsletter, please send an email to zlaviste at BragerTaxLaw.com. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day.